What's up guys, Iki with DCC Train. In today's video, I want to show you a couple of tips and my thoughts if you decided to convert uh, original Athen Genesis Challenger with uh, older decoder with remote control to some something different and add steam generators. Let's start with steam generators. The original, original construction is not really great. Uh, the problem is uh, those holders here holding that steam generators soothe and that area getting really hot. Originally, they're not, uh, they not controlling by any functions output from the decoder, um, auxiliary outputs. And they just, as soon as the engine on the track, and it's uh, getting really hot. So my, and I thought a lot of different ways. First of all, you need to use different smoke uh, steam generators with two wires, actually. And here in this area, try to show you. In this area, you need to build, actually, the holders for them. So they will be um, actually installed here and then that area will be, they just need to make a bigger hole and it will be just covered on top. So again, holders will be here, this thing going through because it's not connected, something like this. Why two wires? Because you need a common and um, use two different uh, auxiliary outputs to control those smoke generators 250 milliamps one um, output is not enough so it's doable but again um, in this engine I'm not gonna do it tip of the day <laughs> For some reason, <clears throat> in assembly line, again, I'm not sure how they're doing it right now, there are two screws here and there. Those screws need to be tightened. Um, you need to take that um, clips, uh, disassemble uh, that gear thing, and tighten them very well because usually they just uh, losing and finally your uh, steam mechanism will be just dr dropping down and screw will be something the screw you, I don't think so you're gonna miss the screw but anyway that's um, that's big deal so uh, at this point I'm assembling uh, the core so it's a six wires here I need um, so I decided to put the decoder in the boiler because I need one auxiliary output for headlight, another auxiliary output for number boards. So it's two wires already. Uh, two wires to the track and two wires to the motor. So six. For the common I'm using one of a pickup it's absolutely no problem to you to do it I'm going to lose a little bit about volt and a half maybe less but uh, since LED in that model there is no issue and in the tender it will be speaker decoder I'm sorry speaker decoder will be in the boiler I change uh, that approach uh, Two uh, LEDs, I especially modify the, the tender with the red marker light and the rear headlight. So, ready for assembled, and we'll see how it's running very soon. Uh, thanks, guys, for your patience. Again, it takes some time to just figure out everything. Um, when I figure out, the, the, the process is not very complicated. Um, I'll do probably a couple of live uh, streams at um, DCC Train live channel. Link will be in description and I'll leave a comment. 
so thanks for watching supporting business if you'd like support channel there is patreon on the left paypal uh, pay, paypal me on the right and there is a join membership button thanks again for support we really appreciate it have a good one bye bye